Uh, yeah. So let me just start with you on this, Katrina. It's now being confirmed. Our Ed Henry has confirmed General Michael Flynn, and he's already taking the incoming on this. Um, what say you to the people who say he he sat in on intelligence briefings while he was advising foreign clients? He made the controversial tweet about how fear of Muslims is rational, not radical Muslims, but just Muslims. Your thoughts? Well, I won't confirm or deny uh, the appointment simply until uh, the transition team know. does. I don't want to make that mistake, <laughs> okay. simply because we've heard rumors and people for the last two days. And, you know, the media can't decide, Megan, on how to shift gears from trying to defeat Trump to trying to actually cover him by holding him to a completely non-existent standard. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's really bad when David Axelrod, chief strategist to Barack Obama, took to Twitter today to remind the media that they didn't even have these appointments made at this time without criticism. No one here is criticizing him for not making appointments fast enough. I'm talking about General Flynn and whether he's good for this position. I'll give it to you, Matt, on why the Democrats don't seem to like him. He is a horrendous choice for this job. General Keene was being polite, but being the national security advisor is incredibly important. Think about it, Condi Rice was the national security advisor on 9-11. You have to coordinate all of the agencies as the general was discussing. You have to make sure that the president's uh, wishes are carried out by the entire national security establishment, which is gigantic. And most importantly, you have to be an honest broker for the incoming that you're getting from the State Department and the CIA and the, and the intelligence agencies and the Defense Department. He is, by all accounts, a very difficult guy to work for, but also, and much more importantly, he's just not a good person. He's talking about how we should fear all Muslims. That is not the kind of person that you need in the most important positions Well, just because he Washington. made that one statement, which I've had him on the show many times, and I, I have heard him speak about radical Muslims for the most part, although this tweet doesn't say that, just, just no. for the record. Um, so I don't know that you can leap to he's not a good but person, Matt. Go ahead, Katrina. But if we're, if we're being honest here, I mean, whoever Mr. Trump nominates to any position, uh, there's going to be scrutiny. Um, there's been scrutiny over his, his initial appointments. And so I, I think to expect that, that this is just going to be, you know, icing on the cake uh, is, is just completely unfounded. Okay, there's but, going but to the be criticism, Katrina, is that, is that uh, the people who are going in there, are they, that they don't have any experience and that it's right. just, it's, it's just favors he's, he's returning. He's putting you know, people in major positions as just favors because they were loyal to him as opposed to people, this is the criticism, who know what they're doing. Right. Yeah. Megan, and the election is over, and the people chose Donald Trump, someone who had never been a politician before, because they trust him to make the right decisions and to choose the right people. And again, this is not just one person that's going to be making these decisions. There are teams that are going to be put in place. Those landing teams are going to be announced yep. soon. Mr. Trump is brilliant when it comes to putting together teams and when it comes to doing what he wants to get done. And I think he's proven that time and time again. Go ahead, Matt. Well, look, uh, he's made three appointments. One of them I think most Democrats are comfortable with, which is his chief of staff, Rance Priebus. But the other one, Steve Bannon, as you well know, Megan, is unbelievably controversial because he, again, is somebody who is just so far outside the mainstream. If George W. Bush had had a meeting in the Oval Office with Steve Bannon, it would have been news because it would have been a scandal. Now he's going to have an office next to the Oval Office. And I think there's going to be same kind of questions raised about General Flynn. Maybe but you not know, quite you as know, extreme. as Katrina pointed out, Steve Bannon was running Trump's campaign and the, the people elected him, Matt. So, you know, no doubt. is I there mean, really any listen, objection to Trump using him as he wants, President-elect Trump? No, we can't. We can't stop it. He can appoint who he wants and and uh, and he will. But we can object to it because this is not the kind of guy that you want in uh, the halls of power. You mm -hmm. want somebody much more reasonable and much more mainstream than guys like Steve Bannon. I think your objection may be overruled. Well, I mean, there's a Good laundry list of Gotta controversial go. people <laughs> surrounding go. Barack Obama as well. Gotta we go. don't talk Great about to see that. Well. Also breaking tonight, new reports that Nancy Pelosi could be caught in the crossfire as the Democrats get ready to punish someone for the epic losses last week. Will it be Ms.